Hi, my name is Max. I'm a PhD student in Dr. Guha Dai's lab. Dr. Dai's lab mainly focuses on vascular research in all different types of fields, such as stem cell research or biomaterials, or even using 3D printers to make vascular graphs to treat congenital heart disease. My specific research focuses on trying to model the neurovascular niche, which houses neural stem cells inside little devices called microfluidic devices. In my research, I use microfluidic devices, in this case uh, from the company AIM Biotech. They're small little chips that can house multiple types of cells in many different experimental conditions. In this case, we take red brain endothelial cells and put them inside a 3D hydrogel. And after about a week in culture, they form these microvascular networks that uh, very much resemble the types of brain capillaries that you see in the human body. The key aspect of this is that in this kind of microfluidic device, you can introduce a interstitial flow that creates a pressure that creates um, a hydrostatic pressure gradient that drives flow through the micro, uh, microvascular networks. In these microfluidic devices, you can uh, create interstitial flow that stimulates these microvascular networks to form open lumen that can have flow going from one side to the other, and it resembles the type of blood flow that you see in the human body. We think that recreating the features of the neurovascular niche, such as blood flow, will better uh, mimic the native environment and cause the neurostem and progenitor cells shown here in purple to extend neurites like they would in the body and become proper mature neurons. The benefit of this is that it is a model using primary human cells, which eliminates the need of using specific human patients and also moves away from using mouse or canine or primate models, which don't properly uh, recapitulate the human uh, blood-brain barrier. In this case, uh, doctors can use human cells that will um, then be able to better predict how these neuroprogenitor cells will respond in this kind of an environment. I've always liked biology, but I've definitely always been more of an engineering student, and combining those together is a great way to see your research applied in a more day-to-day -day basis and have it have a more direct impact, especially with Northeastern's connections with local biotech companies and hospitals.